with breaking news. First and five, the attorney for the man charged with killing Sergeant Craig Johnson is asking the judge to remove the death penalty from the case. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. David Ware's attorney says because the state rate of pay is so low, the attorney can't do all that he needs to adequately defend a potential death penalty case. Kevin Adams is a private attorney, but he's been assigned to this case after the public defender's office had a conflict of interest. News on Six's Jordan Tidwell has new details from documents just filed in court. Jordan? Craig and Lori, the attorney Adams says the state will pay a maximum of $25,000 for Adams and another attorney to defend where Adams says there's no way to do all the work required for that amount of money. Adams argues Oklahoma's compensation rate for a death penalty case is an obscene embarrassment to the American criminal justice system and has to be among the lowest in the country. He says he could earn more money delivering pizzas or tending bar than in this case, given the sheer number of hours involved. He points out other people in the case, like the private eye and the neuropsychologist, are paid by the hour, and he believes attorneys should be paid the same way. He says the reason the public defender's office had a conflict is because Johnson knew and socialized with some of the public defenders. Adams urges state lawmakers to change the pay scale in order to be fair to all involved. We spoke with News on 6's legal analyst Irvin Box, who says it's not uncommon for the public defender's office to have a conflict in a case. Those conflict attorneys that take cases are so limited on funds and what they can do that the defendant really doesn't get what I believe an adequate representation. Tulsa County District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler did release a statement saying in part, it is not unusual in any death penalty case for a defendant to file multiple pleadings seeking to strike down Oklahoma's death penalty sentencing provisions by claiming various violations of the U.S. Constitution. These types of attempts are nothing new to our office. Where's trial is scheduled for April. Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.